Hey guys, um, welcome to my quick little tutorial on how to make an NPC that avoids obstacles uh, and doesn't run into walls and kind of just idles around. So I was in the middle of starting it um, about three minutes ago and I realized that the NPCs are actually going to run right into each other and through each other and that's kind of obnoxious. So um, now the NPCs also avoid each other. They avoid walls, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, you'll need your NPC sprite. Um, and at the end, I'm going to save uh, this project file, and it'll be in the description so you can open it up and play with it yourself. So here's your sprite um, for your player. You need a happy little fellow. Kind of reminds me of a, a Mr. Saturn from uh, Earthbound. And nothing special. He's 32 by 32. The obstacle is a wall. This is 64 by 64, just for the size of our room, it makes sense. Um, just make sure that the collision mask is the whole thing here, because it's a wall and we're going to be stretching it. Um, next, you want to create a room. So this is the room I've created. It's basically just stretched out boxes. Um, these are, you know, You'll grab your O wall, bring it out here, and you can use this tool here to stretch it out however you please. Just make sure it's not colliding with any of these guys to start. Um, so we've got that, and we'll put one here, and let's throw another one right over here. And then we'll maybe we'll drag that there. <laughs> it's really not important. Um, so that is. Uh, give them some room to walk around there so that's our room and inside we've got all of our ONPCs so you'll create your O wall O wall is just an object it's a square um, you can drag in your obstacle sprite right here uh, the only real thing I did here was changed it to a solid Solid just tells it how to behave with other objects that are also flagged solid or who are looking for solids. Um, solids are stationary, so don't change ONPC into a solid because it will, uh, it, it probably won't like that and it'll start acting funny um, having a bunch of solids walking around. So there is the wall. Next, I made ONPC. And basically, uh, what ONPC does is it's got a destination X and Y. That's the spot it wants to go to. Um, and it's got a speed that's going to travel. And, and that can be whatever you want, dest X and dest Y, name it whatever you want. But um, initially, I set it to the X and Y. So I'll go to the step event. I'll try to zoom in so that you get a good look. Um, basically, what we're going to do is... Um, check every two seconds uh, to move. Uh, so what I'm doing here is if I random room speed times two, so that says every two seconds, room speed is the number of frames per second. So it, it's 60 in this game. So every 60 frames times two, if that number equals one, so hypothetically it should once every two seconds equal one, um, then it's going to do a whole whack of things. So we've got var range here. That is the range that the NPC is going to look for a spot to go to. And we're going to set dest x and dest y to, um, to, to its x plus the range, negative and positive. So somewhere between negative 256 and 256, that gives you 512 pixel range. Um, it's going to add that number to the X. So it might add a negative, which would be subtracting from the X. And uh, so it might say X plus negative 10. That, move, that means it's going to go negative 10 in the other direction. So we're setting the dest X and the dest Y to basically a 512 by 512 square. So it's got a little bit of room to go. Um, now, after that, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can clamp 
Um, I couldn't figure it out. I've never used Clamp myself, and it's probably <laughs> probably one of my flaws. But um, I I just check for dest x, make sure it's in the bounds. If it's less than zero, set it to zero. If it's if dest y is less than zero, set it to zero. If it's out of the room, set it to the room width. Um, and then what I do because <clears throat> Uh, we don't want the NPC colliding with any of the walls. We don't want it to try to walk into a wall. So I set a collision circle at the desk X and the desk Y. So what that's going to do is um, it's going to set a circle there and it's going to check uh, a radius. So here I have the sprite width of the NPC. So it's 32 by 32. Um, the sprite width divided by 2 is the radius of the circle we're looking so 16 so we're checking basically a 32 uh, pixel wide circle at desk x and desk y and if it collides with our parent of the collidable so that's the other object i haven't shown you yet if it collides with the collidable parent opar collidable um, not precise not me those uh, those aren't important so it will set the destination x and y to its own x and y so it'll say nope there's an object there and i'm just going to stand still and then I, I put a show debug message here hit wall um, that's really not important now though so it's going to look for a spot to go and when it's not looking for a spot to go so it says every two seconds i'm going to check for a spot and if i'm not checking for a spot so otherwise, I'm going to do this. If distance to the point, so if we are more than one pixel from the point we're trying to get to, we're going to move. So MP potential step object. We're using GameMaker's built-in motion uh, planning, uh, pathfinding. So it's going to go to dest x and dest y it's looking it's trying to get to that x and y at the speed of the object so we've set that to two and it's step object mp potential step object so you can tell it what object to avoid and we're avoiding the parent collidable um, which is over here i'll tell you about that in a minute and whenever we're moving right underneath that we're telling it the image speed of this object is one so we are animating it as well so now if distance to point greater than one we're moving and we're animating otherwise uh, we're going to set the destination x and y to our own x and y so we're going to stand still image speed is zero and image index is zero so that tells it don't animate image speed is zero and image index equals zero as well which means um, we're standing still at the first frame of our our NPC which is right here so it's gonna be this frame so that is the step event of um, the NPC now this all kind of hinges on opar collidable and basically that is a parent object because we want it to avoid um, each other if it was just the wall we could put uh, we could do you know potential step um mp potential step without the object and that's just going to make it walk around avoid solids but because we don't want to set this moving object to a solid we can and we could and it would probably work but it might act funny eventually so we're avoiding the object parent collidable and that's right here so if you go into the parent setting right here zoom in so everybody can see um, we're going to set the children right here, so let's, let's just remove them and I'll show you how to do it. So opar collidable, this is the object we're avoiding. So any of its children we will also avoid. So we'll take O wall here on the right hand side uh, in the resources, O wall and O NPC, or one at a time, and we can drag them into the children. So now when we're walking around with our NPC here, we are avoiding opar collidable and all of its children so not just this blank object but all of its children so go back to the game so we're, we're avoiding the walls we're avoiding each other we're not avoiding ourselves um, 
but I'm going to open up the game and show you how it works. So here's the game, and as you can see, they are all once every two seconds checking for a spot to go. Um, if that spot happens to be in a wall, that two seconds resets, and uh, well, it's not an actual two seconds, but it's a hypothetical two seconds, and they look for a spot to go, and if they can't get to that spot, then they don't bother and they stand still. Um, you can also see that when they move, they animate, and when they're standing still, they do not, and they're on their first frame, um, and they're not running into each other. They're very polite little uh, Mr. Saturn men, and they're uh, they're just walking around. So that is the basics of an NPC for you know all intents and purposes, uh, just a general NPC that'll walk around all by itself um, without any trouble. So. If, uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment, and in the description, I'm going to link my Twitter for the stuff I'm working on. Oh, there's an email. And I'm also going to link um, the download for this project file so you can open it up and goof around with it yourself. Um, other than that, um, to, and you know what, I'm going to also link, because it's a pet peeve of mine, I'm going to copy and paste the... Um, the biggest chunk of code here in ONPC. I'm going to copy and paste that to a paste uh, bin, and I'm going to put that in the description too, just so you have all the code right at your fingertips in case you don't want to, uh, you know, word for word type it in. I might have, <laughs> I might not have even shown you the code properly. Um, so uh, be sure to check out the description, and uh, any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. Have a great one.